All right, so today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Aspiron canister back. This was sent to me at no charge for this review. And right behind me, you can see that I have a name brand canister back. And in my opinion, I think that the Aspiron is just a little bit better than this one behind me. And let me tell you why. Number one, this canister back is a very lightweight canister back. It weighs just about 15, 16 pounds. So it's easy to move around. You got really large wheels on the back side. And then on the front side, you do have a, another rotating wheel, which makes it easy to move around a low pile carpet or your hardwood floors. And it also does have a little clip here on the end of it so that when you are done using it, you can set it up and take up very little space. Now this does have a 24,000 PA or suction rating. Now, what does that mean? A typical vacuum, an upright vacuum that's got the rotating brush heads has about 45,000 suction power, whereas a handheld vacuum cleaner that you're going to use maybe out in your vehicle or that you might be using for furniture is going to be somewhere between 3,000 and 9,000 suction power. So having a 24,000 uh, PA or suction power is really, really powerful, especially for a canister vac. Now this canister vac has about a 3.7 liter uh, container here, which is easy to remove with a push button. Then you can dump it real easily and then close it back up and stick it back in and be ready to go again. Now this does have two HEPA filters in it. You got one filter right here and then you got one filter on the back side. And I'll show you both of those here briefly. And you do also get a couple of replacement filters so that you're not left in the dark after those are dirty and not usable again. You also do have five different head attachments. You got one attachment that's already on, and then you've got a crevice tool, a brush tool, and then a soft brush tool to get into like a keyboard or the dash of your vehicle. You've also got a high powered rotating brush head right here for uh, low pile carpets or for uh, your fabric furnitures. And then we're going to look at some of the other features. Now on this particular head, it does have five different brush heads right across the top so that you can scour into your, your carpet. Or if you have maybe something hardened on your hardwood floor, you'll be able to scrub that down. And you can push that with your foot so you can uh, raise it and lower it at will. The wand is an adjustable wand so that you can shorten that or you can lengthen that depending on your size and depending on what you might be vacuuming. So a couple of cons that I see about this particular vacuum cleaner is that the attachments, they do not lock into place. So these are just gonna come out real easy like that, which is kind of convenient, but um, they could also separate when you're not expecting it to. So that's the, about the only flaw that I see with this particular vacuum cleaner. Now, all of these attachments can either go onto the end of the tube, or you can use the wand for that. It's completely up to you. These are very easy to interchange and use how you want. You can also adjust the suction of this for a half suction or a full suction. You've also got two big push buttons here. One is gonna be for your power and one's gonna be for a retractable power cable. Now you do have a 20 foot power cable here and there's something I wanna show you on this which I found was pretty neat. Right here you got a yellow sticker which means to slow down and then you got a red sticker which means to stop, that way you don't pull your power cable completely out of the vacuum itself. Now to get that to go back in, we're just going to push our retract button. And sometimes you gotta feed that back in there, but that's gonna be with any retractable power cable. You're gonna to have to feed it in uh, because it doesn't have a real powerful rewind to it. Let's go ahead and try, try this out and see how well we like it. Now there's a couple of things that we need to know about this. Number one, I do not think it works really well on carpet, even if it's a low pile carpet, because these brush heads catch and they do a, a bump and go and a bump and go. You can pull it back just fine, but when you're going forward with it, you can see how that bounces and it's not going to get a clean carpet. So uh, this is preferably gonna be used on a hardwood floor, linoleum floor or some other smooth surface rather than a carpet. Let me show you. Now, one more thing I want to show you here before we start the vacuum. You do have an, an adjustable suction on the back side as well. So if maybe you were doing electronics or a soft leather or your furniture and you didn't want to have that full suction power, uh, then you can turn that down right here on the canister or 
if you're ready, raring to go, you can turn that all the way up to the full 24,000 PA. You can see how that bounces back and forth like that. It works really well if you pull it backwards though. The head swivels real nice so that you can get underneath furniture and behind furniture. The canister, notice how the canister will come right along with you. Now here we have our carpet right in front of the door. This is where we're gonna clean off our shoes. So there's gonna be gravel, sand, hair, and whatever else may be on the bottom of your, your shoes. This is gonna work really well on this type of carpet. You can see how well that does. You can see the marks on the carpet. That's pretty impressive right there. So I do wanna show you this tool as well. This is probably one of my favorite tools. And we're just gonna use it right here on a dog bed. You can see the rotating brush in there. So in just those couple of minutes of vacuuming, let me show you what we got picked up here in the canister. Look at that. That's crazy. I didn't even think it was doing a good job on the carpet, but that's what we got in there. We have our second filter right back here, and you can see it's beginning to get some dust and dirt on it. Every vacuum has an intake, which is gonna be right here, and then it also has an exhaust. And oftentimes, our vacuum cleaners are gonna stink when that exhaust comes out from dust and dirt that's been sitting in the canister. This is gonna catch all of the dust, the dust mites, and even odor that's gonna be kicked back into the air. Uh, this filter here is gonna catch that. So this double filter system is a huge benefit, a huge plus to the Aspiron vacuum. And if you're looking for a nice canister vac, it's gonna be lightweight, easy to use, big wheels, rotating wheels, and uh, great suction power. This one from Aspiron is definitely one that needs to be on your list.